All right, let's say you're given the number of letters in a problem description and the length of time it takes for the student John to solve the problem. You want to guess how long a new problem will take. What's your guess and what are the limitations of you guessing here? So basically we're given the number of words, is that what it is? Number of letters and the time it takes. And presumably with more letters, it takes more time. So we'll see something like this with a bunch of points. So you want to guess how long a new problem will take? Well, if it's uh, within here, we know we can use interpolation with the number of letters in the new problem and guess at what it is. If it's out here, then we'll have to use extrapolation. And we could also approximate it with a curve and then use that curve to model it. But for this case, I would say the best thing to do would be to just interpolate or extrapolate. All right, so let's head over to MATLAB and solve this problem. So. Here I've got my data I've loaded in. So when I run this, even though it's cleared, it immediately imports this data to the workspace. So I have the number of letters, one by 100, and the time it takes, one by 100. So I could first off just plot the data, sort of see what it looks like. Okay, so it sort of has a linear relationship. So now that we've taken a look, let's uh, let's solve this thing. So you want to guess how long a new problem will take. So first of all, what's your guess? Um, well, my guess will be using interpolation. So new problem, new problem letter count is, let's say it's uh, Let's put it at 23. 23. So now my new problem time taken is interp1, and I feed in the number of letters. Then I give it the time it takes, and then the new problem letter count, and I'll give it spline and extrap and the spline is how i'm fitting it the extrap is because i want to be able to extrapolate you can include extrap that will just uh, allow it to expand beyond its bounds so you can do interpolation when you have extrap there as we'll see so new problem time taken we say it's 7.6831 and let me do this plot again. So at 23, we can say we'd guess it's somewhere at like 7.8. So we get 7.68 right here. And there we go. We were able to guess how long a new problem will take, whether it's accurate or not, I guess is the question. So this is our guess, but what are the limitations? Well, the limitations are first that the data is has limited uh, parameters. So looking at a problem's complexity as just the number of letters for how long it will take is pretty simplistic. You could uh, find a really complex problem with less words and a really easy to solve problem with a lot of words. So data doesn't encompass all the relevant aspects for the output. Next, we don't know, there isn't a direct like linear relationship here, right? We could do a polyfit or something like that. But the limitation is that Presumably, if we took the exact same problem with 
this exact same number of letters, we could have a very varied uh, time to solve the problem. So non repeatability. And another limitation being uh, particularly for data outside our uh, endpoints, we are unlikely to accurately guess because things outside of our endpoint, of course, and this is just a limitation with data in general, but that is a limitation here. If we were to guess if it's got five words, maybe it takes just as much time um, if it's got five words as if it's got 10. Uh, and maybe if it's got 100 words, it do doesn't really get that much more complicated than the 50, or maybe it's like a 1,000 times more complicated than the 50. Who knows? So that's a limitation, is if we really wanted to get good numbers out here, we'd at least want to get a few more points out uh, much further beyond these bounds so that we could approximate in between here and there. Because from here, we don't really know. We could guess it's curving up or curving down or staying fairly linear, uh, but we don't really know. And looking at this data, I wouldn't be super surprised if a polyfit did better than extrapolation. So those are some limitations of this process.